guys, it's Gilbert289. Just making a, another update video here. Um, I recently noticed some white slime mucusy type of film that was beginning to um, come out of my rocks. And mainly it's coming on top of uh, this rock that's on top of my uh, rockscape here. It's the, it's the one on top that it has a lot of slime on the bottom. And where the blue tank coming out, there's some slime in that cave area, so I'm going to get another shot on the other side of the aquarium here in a second, but just wanted to show you what I'm messing with here, and if I'm correct, this is the type of, uh, it's like a type of algae that forms when you have like an aerosol can nearby. Um, there's some methods to cure it, like uh, airing the house out and scrubbing the rock. Um, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do a water change, uh, just take out some five gallons of water. I'm not going to mess with the sand bed. I already did a water change like that this past weekend. So I'm going to take five gallons out. And while I have the, the water out from the tank, I'm going to scrub this rock. Um, of course, I'm going to have to take some corals off, which sucks. And my tank is probably going to look a little different when I'm done because, you know, you can't put nothing back exactly like it was. So uh, we'll see how it goes. And I just wanted to document the process. So I'm going to go ahead and go on the other side and show you so here's another area, as you can see on the right hand side, it's just kind of swaying in the water. And uh, this is the first area that I noticed it at. I was coming out at night to see if I had um, any starfish or anything like that that comes out at night. Haven't done that in a really long time since I really set up the aquarium. And um, that's when I started noticing the white film. And at first I thought maybe it was some type of sponge, some like pineapple sponge or something, a clear invertebrate. but it's definitely some type of slime and uh, we need to take it out. So that's what I'm gonna be doing and I just wanted to document the process with you guys. guys the last thing I'm going to do is do a nitrate test on the aquarium before I messed with the rocks and did the water change I was at uh, 40 parts per million this is because I have some fish in there that originally were not supposed to be in my aquarium uh, the yellow tang the blue tang the fox face um, my friend had a crash and I took his fish in as an emergency basis until they could find homes. Uh, when they came to me, they were basically dead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, so I took them in, you know, right away. The tanks were upside down, breathing heavily. They were in really bad shape. Um, you know, so it was either me putting them in my 28 gallon nano cube or them dying. And obviously, we took that route to put them in my aquarium. They will be, be they will be rehomed, um, I believe, this weekend. Um, so nothing to worry about. They're not showing any signs of stress. They're all healthy and eating. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd do aquarium. Before I put those fish in my aquarium, though, my aquarium was at zero parts per million nitrates. After having them in my tank for two weeks I think it's been um, my nitrates spiked to 40 parts per million and just this past Saturday I did a water change and um, I was able to get it down to 20 parts per million and then when I started messing with the tank today hopefully I was able to bring it down some more so that's why I'm running a test uh, to see what we're at so I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and be back with the results all right, guys, I'm back, and as you can see, it looks like the nitrate test is 20 parts per million. Before I did this water change, it was actually up to 40 parts per million, and it's crazy because I just did a water change on it, um, I think it was Saturday, and it went from 40 down to 20. 
And then when I checked it today, it was back up to 40. And so now it's back down to 20. I'm going to start doing a water change on this tank um, every couple of days until I get rid of these fish because they are adding a large bio load to this aquarium, which it's not used to. Uh, before these guys came over, it was just a black and white clownfish and a six line wrasse. And, of course, I have to be feeding more as well because they're larger fish and there's more of them. All right. Obviously, the water's a little bit cloudy from messing with the rock and the sand and whatnot. Um, but as you can see on the right-hand side there, uh, kind of in the middle, there's a large cave-like structure. Um, I think there's a fish in there right now, actually. And uh, so, yeah, it looks awesome. They have that now. Um which wasn't really accessible to the other side at first. It was just kind of a big gaping hole in the corner. So now they can go in and out. And uh, there's also some, see that straight through. And then on the uh, backhand side, there's still some openings where they can swim through and whatnot. So I'm pretty pleased. Um, I don't know if you just saw that, the blue tang went in from the front. And uh, I'm pretty pleased you know, with the rock work. I thought I was gonna, be upset about it but it looks pretty good actually and uh let me do a quick view of the front and one more view of the side all right so here's a quick view of the front and as you can see there's it's very roomy for the fish to swim around and go through and whatnot and i'm really pleased with the aquascape it looks pretty decent right side of the aquarium as you can see the other side of the opening there it's uh very large for all fish to get in there and swim across so Again, very happy with the rock work, and uh, thank you for watching and checking out this video with me. Subscribe, like, and comment, and I appreciate your support.